Hi, I'm Brian S. Mahoney of BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. What Agricultural Engineers Do Agricultural engineers, also known as biological and agricultural engineers, work on a variety of activities. These activities range from agriculture, raising food such as fish that thrive in water, to land farming to forestry, from developing biofuels to improving conservation, from planting animal environments to finding better ways to process food. The work environment. Agricultural engineers work much of the time in offices. They also spend time at a variety of work sites, both indoors and outdoors, traveling to agricultural settings to see what equipment and machinery are functioning according to both manufacturer's instructions and federal and state regulations. How to become an agricultural engineer. Agricultural en engineers must have a bachelor's degree, preferably in agricultural engineering or biological engineering. Employers also value practical experience, so cooperative education engineering programs at universities are valuable as well. Preparation. A good job interview starts well before the job seeker and interviewer meet. Preparation can be as important as the interview itself. Researching, practicing, and dressing appropriately are the first steps to making the most of a job interview. Research. One of the best but most frequently overlooked ways to demonstrate enthusiasm for a job is to research both the company and the position for which you are being interviewed. Employers say they are impressed by well-informed job seekers. Before arriving for an interview, you should know what the company does, how large it is, and recent changes it has undergone, and what role you could play in its organization. Try to learn about the company's goals and values. With these facts, you can show how your qualifications match the company's needs. The company itself is often the easiest place to start your search. Many businesses fill their websites with information tailored to job seekers. These sites often include a history of the company and a description of its products and customers. In many companies, human resource departments will send recruiting information if you request it. Public libraries and career centers also have valuable information about employers, including companies' annual reports to shareholders, reports kept by local chambers of commerce, trade journals, and business indexes such as Hoover's Business Index and Dun & Bradstreet. Thank you for watching. If you have a topic for a training video you would like created, then leave your choice in the comments section. Also like or thumbs up this video. If you would like information on how to start your own business, which includes how to get government grants, how to write a business plan, how to select your business name, how to use free internet marketing to advertise your business, and much, much more, then visit www.briansmahoneyonline.com and don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more than over 1,000 free training videos we will be creating and uploading. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day.